Hello, Avon and Skyward Sword. It's not available. Please leave a message and try again. This is a recording. Welcome back, you guys. We're about to jump into that dungeon. But first, I have a couple of errands to run in the sky. Don't worry, we'll make this nice and punchy. Gonna grab some goddess cubes and then we're gonna spend some money and then we're gonna come back and do the dungeon. Where's my boy? Hi, Eric! Oh, whoop, oh, whoops. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Okay, here is goddess cube number one, which is right here on the map. We've got... Ooh, a heart medal! This makes hearts appear more often. Unfortunately, my pouch is full. So I send it straight to the item check. That's awesome. I was worried I was going to put it back in the chest and I would have to come back later. Okay, next we're going to go up to this one. Oh, this one's going to be a pinpoint landing. Yeah! So what have we got? We've got his cube number two. A heart piece. That's nice. All right, last but not least, right over here. Oh, I think that's our spot all the way down there. We're going to be falling for a bit. It's the one that was behind the bomb wall before. We've been here before. Aw, oh, man! I would feel like a celebrity if I had space in my wallet for that. Well, that's all of the goddess cubes, so I will meet you at the bazaar. Now arriving at the bazaar. Okay, before I go in there, though, I want to visit Beetle. Where are you at, Beetle? There you are. I was going the wrong way. See, I definitely want another pouch. 300 rupees, I will take it. Da 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 da! How about the wallet upgrade? How much does the wallet upgrade cost? 100 rupees. That's more than worth it. I like the wallet system in this game. Alright, and now we actually enter the bazaar. First of all, fix my shield. It only costs 10 rupees, that's fine. He has little narrow hips. I think I've mentioned this before, but maybe that's why he wears all those giant tool belts to make his hips look bigger. And is there anything I can upgrade? The shield would be nice. I can do it. Let's do it. New shield. A braced shield. That's very cool. Much tougher than the standard wooden shield. And I just have to make sure not to break it. All right, I was only able to upgrade my shield. I didn't have the stuff for anything else. So let's grab the new heart metal out of the item check. Thank you, Beatrice. Nothing new here to buy. All right, well, that covers our shopping errands. Let's go do a dungeon. Doesn't my new shield look great? Why are you talking to me? I didn't talk to you. Uh, I wonder where she's gone. I will remember you are here next time we're in Skyloft, which is going to be soon. But I promise I will come to your quest later. Any second now, we're going to drop through the cloud barrier, which we can only see from the top. From below, it looks like we have a nice, beautiful blue sky. I've never been able to wrap my head around that one. All right, now. I'm ready. What do you have for me, dungeon? Candles? They're lit! Who has been lighting the candles? Or I guess they're actually machines, aren't they? So they probably have a way of lighting themselves. The Nehru Mining Facility. It's another big robot head. I like this motif of the little robots. Speaking of robots, spider robot. Let me get my bombs out. Oh, I only have seven. I should probably fix that the first opportunity. Oh, I hear another spider robot. They're over here. Oh, maybe it's more of a scorpion. Yeah, it's more of a scorpion robot. But then I guess the scorpions are just spiders with stingers and pincers, right? Very angry spiders. And of course, lobsters are mermaid scorpions. Oh, hi guys. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to get my sword out and I accidentally tapped the button and then I... I did this and the, the it read as throwing the bomb. But it worked out because it killed one of the robots. Need to kill this guy. Ow! And I even missed with my bomb. This is what we're going to do instead. Help. And then once my stamina is full... Run right past him. Bye! Link is tired, but we made it. So now we can open that door. That's cool. And I remember seeing 
they're gonna drop on me as soon as I go for that piddly little one green rupee. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, now let's go open that chest. What do we got? Is this a key by any chance? Nope, it's rupees. I'm glad I went and spent some. This would be very disappointing. There's nothing else in here? No, I guess not. Next thing then is to send Sally for the bomb and not have it explode in her face. And she's going to make a path for me. Ooh, I'm down to one bomb, but I don't need it. What am I doing? Now we can get out of the first room. Ooh, there's all pipes and everything going out. Oh, that is cool. Cool place. Oh, it's the Hydra guy. Two of them. Eventually I'm gonna do this right. There we go, got him. Now there's one more behind me. I guess it would be a strategy to just decide what direction I was going to go and then keep hitting it until it decided to use that direction, right? There we go. All right, that's both Hydras. I'm not sure if that's what they're actually called, but that's what I've decided that they're called. Now, I do remember what the dungeon item is here because it's pretty memorable. And so I know that this is an area for after I have the dungeon item. This, though, I could probably do something with. Am I just trying to get up there? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Yep, here we go. What's in the next room? Oh, this feels kind of mini bossy, doesn't it? Door did not lock behind me though, so I guess we're good. Yay, bombs, thank you. I needed those. Okay, we've got a Sally bomb. A choo choo. So I'm sorry to say we don't have a choo choo anymore. Okay, closed door. So let's see if Sally can blow up those boxes over there, huh? This is your time, Sally. Don't look down. Blow up the boxes. Perfect shot. All right, let's go that way. Oh, hello, peace. You're not electric, and I like that. I also like this heart metal that's getting me hearts so quickly. I'm not in nearly as much danger as I have been. What's in the chest? Is this a map? Nope, it's a key. I know where to put that key. There's a locked door in the room that we were just in. Is that a box that Sally can destroy? Let's check really quick, but I suspect that either she's not going to have the range, or... It's just not going to be one that can be exploded. I'll probably just push that box out of the way. Ouch! When I come through the door from the other side. That's what I suspect is about to happen. But, if this is how you're supposed to do it, I don't want to find out by not knowing where to go next. See, there's even a push groove next to it. We're going to try it. Bombs away! Nope. Okay, backwards. I forgot that there was no stairs. I was a little worried for a second I was going to drop into the abyss. Okay, what's behind this door? Why did they feel the need to lock it? It's a floaty magoo. Two of them. I've got to know what you're called. This is a Froak. Not to be confused with Froakie, the Pokemon. So probably I have to take this guy from a distance. Does Slingshot do anything? Yes, it explodes it. Oh no! Let's see, there's a thing here. Is this an Armos statue? And what's more, is there going to be a time shift stone that... Hmm, that affects the entire dungeon? Ooh, jelly! What's up here? Besides more crazy looking barbed wire fences. It's down the ladder, nothing but death. Okay, I won't go down the ladder. That ladder, I need to do something about. There's a box at the top of it that I can't break. But Sally can. Right up there. You can do it. Uh, hup. Good job, Sally. I hope she's not taking any damage from all these bombs. That would be sad. When did my shield take damage? Time shift stone. If I step off this switch... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh, Sally. I need your help again, Sally. It's amazing how useful... Just a little remote-controlled beetle is. I guess she's effectively a drone, isn't she? Oh, the music change. Cool, and those are totally Armos statues. So in Ocarina of Time, I did Armos statues by throwing bombs at them. Well, I guess they're not Armos, are they? They're Beemos. What am I saying? That looks like a pretty clear target, though. 
Yeah. Yep, Beemos. Ancient security mechanism. Weak point is its eye. Well, it's still on top of the pedestal, huh? Oh, I see. There's a little line across it. I bet that I need to take my sword. Ow. And do this number. Yeah, and then stab the eye. I like that a lot better than throwing bombs at it. That's way cooler. That's fun to do. Let's see. I suppose I'm going down this way. I should probably take the ladder, huh? It no longer leads to death. Ah, there's stamina fruit going. So I probably need to do this. Oh no! So that was a failure. Let's check out that ladder before I try anything really crazy, huh? Ow, 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 ow. That conveyor belt means business. They should have a health and safety sign around it or something. Alright, that's cool. Okay, we're gonna wait for that to pass. And now we're gonna go. Alright, this is going better. Let's line ourselves up for the stamina fruit. Awesome. Get out of the way of the ore. We made it! Yes! Okay, let's go get that chest that I unlocked. Of course, there is a Beemos up here, isn't there? That's okay, I like Beemos now. Rupees. That felt like it would have been a key chest, but what do I know? Maybe I'm just playing too much Ocarina of Time with all of its locked doors. Would have been a good place for the map, too. Haven't found the map yet. Do you think I can make it up here? With my track record? Let's go! Yes! Oh, double high Beemos. But now you're dead. They're so cute! I love them! Okay. I suspect that this lever is going to unlock that door we just passed, right? Yeah. Yeah! Okay, now the easy way down the conveyor belt. Let's just carefully... There we go. I really feel like those were not meant to be walked on. Oh, uh, we have another Froakie. Froak, I mean. And this one over there. How far can I slingshot get? Yeah! Oh, it even blew up the rocks. Oh, is this how I'm supposed to do it? Because Froakie number one came back. Hey, I want that. Oh, well. Oh, hello. All right, so we have a maze, a spike maze. They come out of the floor. It's kind of like the one fire temple room in Ocarina of Time. The, the worst room ever, except this is better because you can see where the blockades are before you run into them. Got a ladder over here leading to barrels, leading to nothing now. Let's jump over here. Let's get out of the way of the froak. And I think I can blow that rock pile up on my own. See, that is a perfect shot! Look at that! It's sitting right between the two rocks! Beautiful! Uh, I don't think I can actually go anywhere from here. Let's take care of Froak number two. And let's make for that ladder over there. Ooh, I do want that chest, though. Yeah, it's no skin off my back if I have to do all the jumping again. No deal. No big deal. What are you? Are you my map, finally? Nope, you're a golden skull. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping for a map. Yeah, you just try to reach me from here, little robot scorpion. Oh, it's not a robot. It just happens to look kind of metallic. This is a, a raka. Said to live for a thousand years, during which time it is continually growing. This is going to be my boss, isn't it? Alright, up the ladder, up the ladder. I see more arakas up there. This is going to be my chest. <sighs> of course it's a chest. It's going to be my map. Nope, it's the Gus Bellows. Ooh, it's my dungeon item. What a strange place to put a dungeon item. It's an ancient and mystical device capable of blowing an endless gust of wind. Yay. Well, time to demonstrate. Behold. Just call me Luigi. I wear green and I carry a vacuum. Well, a kind of reverse vacuum though, isn't it? Cleaning up the desert. Blowing away all the sand. Can I just blow you into a wall and have you explode? I can do it! Cool. Alright, is there a switch under this? It's a very tall piece of sand. Nope, just a blue rupee. Well, back around I go. This must be a switch, right? No, it's not. What was the point of this area then? Well, I'm gonna try and jump diagonally. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, I'm just going to do some cleanup here. Sorry, folks. And you, I want to blow that up for me. Thank you. 
Are you a switch? I guess I have to go all the way around to find out. At least I can get some more dust piles down here while I'm at it. And kill a few more boss babies. This time, line up my jump correctly. Just another rupee. Eventually, one of these big important looking dust piles is going to be important. Well, let's get myself a shortcut, because I don't fancy going all the way around again. I feel like this door is going to be switch covered. Nope, just dust covered. Just to make sure that you don't leave the room without the gust bellows, I suppose. What's in this room? Oh, I know where I am. This is the one crate that I tried to blow up with Sally. Now it's out of the way. Oh, hello, Keys. Bad time. All right, so what do I do with this gust bellows then? What's over here? I can reach that from here, right? Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. I know I don't have the map yet, but what does my map look like? Anything obvious that I can do? I guess I can see if I can unlock this room now. I don't remember seeing anything Gus Bellows-ish. Well, yes I do, because there was a area that had a box that was covered in dust. Right over here. Is this gonna do something for me now? A switch! Haha! I know what to do with this switch. I told you that eventually there would be a switch underneath one of these. Just clean up this box. Don't want to touch it if it's dirty. And this belongs over here. There. Now I can get into that door. It feels like this place would be easier to get around back in the day. Don't you think? Yeah, he's not going to float close enough to me. That's okay. As long as he's not in my space, we're okay. Uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. And this time, we take a breather. Now we can go. Yes, come here. Thank you. Now this way. I feel like it's pretty clear that this is a room that definitely has a time shift zone in it. These feel like, like platforms that are gonna move. And it's full of sand. I want this. I got it. Without having to dip my toes in the quicksand. That's nice. Well, sink sand, I guess. Oh, that's a windmill. I think it might be rusty. Let's go that way then. All right, come on, Link. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes. How much do you want to bet that underneath that very tall pile of dust is a time shift stone? Yeah. But first, taken care of. All right then. Let's see what this room looks like in the past. Ooh, that looks very different. <laughs> yep, and these platforms move via gust bellow. This is just like the one area in Twilight Princess. Oh, hello, giant Bemo statue. I see you coming for me. Cool. I love how creative this game is with their dungeons and their items. This game doesn't get nearly enough credit. It's really a shame that the gameplay issues dragged it down so hard in people's opinion. Because this is an incredible game. Oh, hello. I guess you don't like me being here, huh? Can I just... I can! It's just like a Ganondorf fight. I see you. This is going to be like a Hydra fight. And you I need to be facing. There we go. Now shoot your regular torpedo at me. Let me blow you up. Yeah, I got it. Ooh, and I got well rewarded. Unfortunately, most of my reward fell down there. It's not worth it. I need you to move that way. Would it help if I stood over here and a little bit closer? Come on. There you go. Good job. I just need you to be in a place I can reach. Perfect. Stop. Hop. There we go. Are you my map? I don't feel like I've missed any chests, and yet I haven't found the map yet. Nope, this is a monster horn. Maybe I have missed the map. Okay then, over there I guess. Alright, I know I told you to come all over here, but now I need you to go all the way back over there. Thank you! Who's a good lift? I hear that Beemos gunning for my head. Let's choose the right moment to come up over the top and not play whack-a-mole with the Beemos. I appreciate that it turns to look at me as soon as I destroy its lower half. Not only does it just make sense that it's going to look at me, but also, 
it makes it so I can just stab it without worrying about stabbing in the right place. All right, goodbye, beautiful colors. Back into the dismal present, oh, where we have hydras to deal with. Oh, nope. Do you want a piece of me then? Is it your turn? I like fighting this guy too. She's very fun to work with. And there's another 20 rupees for me. Awesome. I am rewarded for fighting the monsters, as it should be. Deku seeds, good. I use quite a bit of them on the frokies. Frokes, I mean. All right. Oh, that's a clear Beemos statue. So I guess what I need to do is move this crate over to the break in the wall up there, right? There's nothing else I can do at this point. This looks like another time shift stone room, just because of the old decayed Beemos statue over there. And all the way up here. Is that my map? Eventually, I've got to find the map, right? It must exist somewhere. You know what? I suspect that that is my time shift stone right there. It is. So can I, like, shoot a Deku Nut between here? Between these bars? I can! Look at me figuring it out. Oh, that's not a Beemos statue. That's an Armos statue for sure. And now there are no... Wajimacolums, Araka's up here because they haven't been born yet. Okay, you. I can see that you've got a propeller on your head, which means I'm going to need this. Open your mouth. And then hit the crystal, I guess. Ow! This guy's kind of stressful to fight. I appreciate that they have marked on the floor where his trigger range is. Open up. Gotcha! Awesome! I was about to say, what about the room with the chest? Good. Let's go back up there and get what is maybe a map finally? Please? It's the map! So what's left? Not a lot. Oh, there's Zelda right at the end of that one room that I can't progress forward in yet. I always feel a little bit sad to leave one of these time-shifted rooms behind. Because it's so nice. And this is so not. All dusty and all the colors are gone. Wait a minute! I know where I am! I'm back in this room, but I'm on the other side of the door! Hooray! Maybe I can finally do some progress in here. And now the door is open! Yay! I'm used to getting the dungeon map so early on that it feels... Well, let's get out of your way. It feels really weird to get it so close to the end of the dungeon. I have a feeling that the bomb... Nope, we're good. Okay, I've got a quite a run ahead of me. Do your stretches, Link. Uh... Oh, I am not going to make it. No way, not in a million years. Okay, so how do I get through there? Is there a time shift stone that I need to hit? Let's send Sally to have a look around, shall we? What do your beetle eyes see? That over there looks like it could be a time shift stone, but I would have to actually reach there to do anything about it, because it's covered in dust. Unless... No, it's not a time shift stone, it's a minecart or something. Let's try high. Go high, Sally, go high. Anything at all? How about that pile of dust? If I ram Sally into there... Nope, that's a cart as well. Oh man, how am I supposed to get through here? It's definitely not by running. Just had to make sure that there wasn't a fluke. I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy, but can I like blow the sand? No. Anything down here? No. What if I rolled a bomb right there? No, it does nothing. Oh no. What am I supposed to do? So I'm gonna go in and out of the room. Here's the only thing that I could think of. Maybe the monster that I blew up is meant to be a stepping stone. Well, no, because it didn't come back. I can't shield surf across this. And there's definitely no stone over here. And I definitely can't run across. Come on, Sally, find me something I can work with, please. Am I on the wrong side of a door? Am I not supposed to be here quite yet? What does my map look like? <gasps> look! There's a path! If I had just looked at the map earlier... Is it here? It's here. Okay. Whoops, 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 whoops. I do need to be careful 
and be paying close attention to my map. It's all the way down in a straight line here. Whoops, which gets me here. Awesome, we're making some progress. That's why it gave me the map when it did. Oh, there's a crawl space there. Crawling in a little tiny claustrophobic hole. Good thing Link is not claustrophobic. That's a dead end. Let's try it over here. I bet these were conveyor belts for moving stuff around in. I see you. Don't think I don't. Oh, I think these guys are a little bit bigger than the other Arakas we've seen. Maybe not. What's in here? Is this another golden skull? No, it's a goddess plume. I've only ever found one of those before, and I found it just randomly laying out on the forest floor. Now let's take a moment, after I get that rupee, to appreciate some art. Yay, art! And it looks like that's all there is to do down here, so back to the sand room. Oh, there is a rupee there. I do want that. Thank you. I noticed that there are no robots inside the Linnea Mining Facility. You would think they would be around. Okay, so where do I go from here? Oh, like, right to the edge of the water. It's too bad that I can't set a beacon. That would be nice. Did I say water? I meant sand. Let's get you out of the way before you're a problem. I would rather not deal with you while I'm trying to navigate these hidden paths. Oh, I don't want to deal with you either. But I do appreciate you showing me where the path is. Yep, all the way here. So is the sand, like, flowing underneath this platform or something? Shouldn't it be going off to the sides? And then from here, it looks pretty straightforward. Let's take care of you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, problem solved. Nope, not that. I need the guest fellows again to clear out this crawl space. Okay, before I leave the room, is there any particular reason to go over there? It looks like it's just Gus Bellows stuff, and it looks like there's crawl space over there as well. No, there's not. Let's just, let's just go clean up the dust piles. You never know, I might get something good out of it. Nothing there. How about there? A piece of amber. That's something good. All right, now over to the crawl space. We've got a little maze here. A maze where I have a map that I could consult if I wanted to see where the dead ends were. Let's get that rupee. That puts us at 600 even. This is why I went shopping before coming in here. Wanted to make sure I could hold all the loot. Alright, and that should be the end to the left, right? But first... Oh wait, no, it's not. The left is a dead end. We're going right. There's the end. It's full of frokes! Do you think I could jump over to that spot where the rupees are? Would that be shooting myself in the foot? I'm gonna try it. No, nah, there's an invisible wall. It doesn't let me jump off that way. That's okay. How come the Arrakis... It? it does. It, it just walked over the spikes and died. You know what? I bet... Yeah! Oh, this is satisfying. Let's get this room nice and sparkly clean, huh? I don't know where the dust is going. Good thing Link isn't allergic to anything. Let's play Spin the Rupee. Yay! Blow the pots around. Whee! This is fun. I like this room. So what I'm getting here is that the Gus Bellows is basically a vacuum. A magic vacuum that you never have to empty. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Let's blow the explosive thing floaty thingamabob right at myself. That's a good idea. Break all the pots! Apparently I can't break this pot, it's still too buried in sand. Now I can break the pot. It's got a fairy in it! Oh, there's a chest there! Oh, hey, go away. That wasn't nice. How dare you? Can I, like, blow this Araka into some spikes? Oh, and there's a switch! Ouch. What's in the chest? It's 20 rupees. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, switch opens the door. So that even if you walk over the top of the sand and just deal with getting hit by the spikes as you try to navigate this maze, you still have to blow the sand away to find the switch. But look at this room now. Isn't it beautiful? Alright, enough of that. I cannot stay on a ledge to save my life today. Alright, and now we're on the other side of the sand pit thing. Hooray! Full of ore. I wonder if this is what they make the time shift stones out of. This is already pulled. Can I strike this? 
Does this do anything? No. <gasps> Look in there. Aha! Oh, oh, oh. I need to stay close to it. That is cool. That's a cool mechanic. We're across. That guy is not a Beemos. That's one of those laser MacGuffins. You wait for me, Cart. I just need to take care of this first. Oh boy, this is not going terribly well for me. <laughs> there we go. No, 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 come back! Oh, good. No! Aw, oh, man. I got five rupees out of it. Oh, make that six. Okay, is there anything else I want to do here before I hit the gust bellows? Let's go up there. Let's pull this lever. What does this do? Oh, it pulls that over here. That's nice. Ooh, there's some dust piles and barrels over here. Okay, problem solved there. Come on. Yes, thank you. I needed those. All right. I think I'm going to follow the cart down here first. If nothing else, this might open up a shortcut that I can take if ever I find myself on the wrong side of the door again. I am going to have to dodge those guys on my way though. And that guy's just going to be straight up in the way I can take care of him. Do you mind dropping hearts when you die? That would be nice. I'm going to go on this side of the cart. And hopefully they can't reach me. Yeah. Okay. Any hearts inside these dust piles? This lever does nothing. However, that pinwheel up there, once I reactivate this time stone... Where do you think you're going? No. No. Bad cart. Come back. Good cart. Let's open this door, shall we? Now that door will never bother me again. Cart. Come on. Hearts. Yeah. All right, and now let's go in this direction with the new cart. The new improved cool cart. The cart for cool kids, because I'm a cool kid. This is very slow. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with that door just yet, huh? Heh <laughs> heh, Beemos. I'm smarter than a statue. Oh, you know what I'm going to need to do, though? I need to be ready. Okay, cart. Activate the pinwheel. I'm ready. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. And I am going to need to send it back the other way. Can I push it? Do I just need to deactivate it and reactivate it? Happily, that gives me my dust piles back. I can see if I can get more hearts. No. Rupees. That went off the edge. Okay, whatever. At least I'm only down two now. And now I can get through that door in the middle. Okay, Bemos, I'm ready for you. I'm going to stand over on this side. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, what is through this door? Oh. This looks involved. I see a broken ladder here, which implies this is in fact a time shift room. Let's go up. Where'd my shield go? Why don't I have it equipped? I need to fix that as soon as we are off this wall. Okay. Keys. Electrified keys. Oh, he dropped a heart. I want it. Okay, Bemo statue there to deal with later. Uh, let's find out what's over here before I start bombing stuff. Ladder, Bemo statue, barrels. I think I'm just gonna go start bombing stuff. That looks like it might be the right way to go. I haven't seen any bomb flowers inside this dungeon, which I guess means if I run out, I'm gonna have to leave and come back. That wouldn't be great. I'd rather not have to do that. Ooh, Amber! Hi! Bye! How much do you want to bet that this is our time shift stone for the room? Oh, I'm good. Is this the whole room? It looks like it is. Oh, two armos statues. At least they're still marking on the floor where they trigger. Can I get all the way back over there? I think I can. I think I can. I totally can. Fighting is so much fun in this game. Oh, but can I get through there without falling off? I have a feeling I can't. Hey, Sally, could you do me a favor? That's a good beetle. Thank you. I wonder why the barbed wire appears only in the past. Did somebody install it later when the mine was being shut down? Also, why don't my Minecraft mines look more like this? All right, and then we reactivate time stone and we don't fall off of the obvious trap. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm not going down there yet. Unless my map says that there's a treasure chest down there that I'm missing out on. But it doesn't look like I am. And now, I can just use the gust bellows on this platform. 
Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're getting some good speed. And down here we have more bomba things. Oh, look! There's a pattern behind these! Aww. I love the little robots. They're so cute. Oh, that's a three high. Ooh. This is a puzzle. What am I gonna have to match to this design on the robots? And that's only one. Two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Are these bombs? They are. Awesome! Okay. So it looks like that path that I have been saying no to is a ladder up, right? I'm going to use the gust bellows to move this platform over to where I can reach it. That's right, that direction. Thank you! I'm just gonna hop over there really quick. And now... If I can get it to move... This direction. Yay! Oh, there's more bomb guys over there. Let's get this out of the way of the ladder. There. Now I have a shortcut in case I can't reach the platforms. Now I bet that behind these are going to be levers that I need to pull in a certain order. That's my guess. Levers or switches. Ah, switches. You know what, let's go ahead. Not the net. Slingshot. Let's go ahead and just trigger that one. Because that's supposed to be number one. Now let's go to the end. Bomb that down. There's number two. Right? Right. Whoa, no! Where is it going to put me? Thank you, game. I just wanted to jump here. And now we're going to trigger number three. Stop there. Bomb. Slingshot. Ponk. Does that open the door? It does open the door. Look at me. Nope, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, other way. Let's get my bombs. Waited to break those barrels specifically because I suspected there were going to be bombs in them. And there's the Armo statues we saw earlier. Okay. One at a time. Can I get the other one? Not quite. Ow! I love the design here. This is so cool. Okay, one more Armo statue to go. Can I get the other one? Hit! No. Ah. Oh, he can leave his trigger area. <laughs> I admit this, that the selection system for items is not my favorite because the, I, the button to use the item is the same one as the one to pick a different one. Which means that sometimes I accidentally hold the button trying to use an item and I end up just try, ending up in the menu instead to switch it and that's not what I want and I get hurt. Maybe I just need to get good. Boss key? This looks like a boss key chest. It sure is. That's a boss key. Ancient circuit. It's made of shining gold. It also looks like it may be apart from something. Surfaces inlaid with circuitry. Oh, and that door opens now. Which door is that? Looks like that one. Nope. Wait. Wait. What? It's supposed to be down here. So down there, maybe? Am I supposed to go down here? Yeah, it's over there. I finally came down here, you guys. Let's kill the Beemos, just for fun. Also take a little bit of damage, because I didn't time that very well. We can make it, we can totally make it. These conveyor belts are actually kind of fun to run on. And across. Perfect. Made it. Back into the big room. Well, that was also a big room. This, this dungeon is kind of full of big rooms. What's up here? Could this be a shortcut that I can open up? And a chest! Is this another 20 rupees for me? Let's find out. Yep, 20 rupees. Go away, Keese, you bother me. And now we've got this shortcut opened up. Awesome, okay. That's gonna make it much easier to get through this room. Now that we're back here, let's go up the stairs instead. Break the barrels. Maybe I should have waited on that. Clean up the room. And let's hit this time shift zone. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be hard to do, isn't it? I need to aim this so that I am behind the time shift stone. Which gets rid of the vents. Okay. That wasn't too bad. And those two lovers over there are just going to call either the platform or the cart. That makes sense. 
And that opens the door. Okay, puzzle time. Oh, that looks right. There we go. Now we get to go fight boss, which I bet is giant scorpion. It's gotta be, right? That is such a cool door! I'm glad it didn't stop opening when it moved out of the time shift area. <laughs> Always gonna take him by surprise. Uh oh. Oh, that's unnerving. Good thing it decided to pop out over there and not under my feet. Oh, giant scorpion, what did I say? Thousand year arachnid Moldorak. Okay. I'm clearly trying to hit the eyes in the claws, right? Ow, ow, no, 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 no. That's not good. Stop it. Bad arachnid. Look, give me some space. Oh, I got one of the claws. This is kind of like a hydra. More like fighting a hydra than it's like fighting an arachna. Araka. There's no N. Oh, that was the tail. I don't want to get stung. Man, this guy's cool looking. Oh, under the sand. Okay, I know what I must do. Where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. You're over there. Punch that eye. Stab. Is he already dead? That was so easy. That's kind of disappointing because he's such a cool boss and he's so much fun to fight. Aw. I feel like he had so much more potential. Oh well, heart container. Okay. Oh, is all the sand gonna... Yep, am I okay? I think I'm okay. You would think that this would be the time that Link would dip into the sink sand, but I guess we're not. I guess we're fine. Heart container! Yay. And a little less danger now. Alright, so. Oh, now there's pots here. Were there always pots here? Also, I love that this room clearly does have a purpose besides just being a scorpion nest. Alright, so I believe the whole reason why we came into the mining facility was to find a path to the Temple of Time. Because Impa blocks the road on us, right? Ooh, up there. This, I can already tell is a cool room. Look at the giant robots! And with a little help from Sally... Thank you, Sally. It comes to life. Oh, there's mosaics behind them! Oh, that's so cool! Look at all the sunlight! Oh! This is awesome. I love this. It makes you wish that every ancient dungeon that we see in games like this is in its own full glory in the present time that they were built. Look at this. Oh, man. This is awesome. I love the visuals in this game. The color choices, the creative dungeons, because that was a super fun dungeon. And it was a super unique concept for a dungeon, especially for a desert. Oh, I hear Zelda. Hi, Zelda! I'm here! Can I talk to you this time? Uh-oh. Oh, sure, now the blockage is out of the way. Hi, Gearheem. 
Hey. Impa. Your grace, quickly to the gate. Aven. Aven, here, you'll need this where you're going. How does she know where I'm going? I don't know where I'm going. Thank you for the harp, though. The goddess's harp. There's no time to admire it. <laughs> I love that. Go, now! Uh-oh. Zelda, keep going. Yeah! Aven. Am I late? I love that response. <laughs> no, you're right on time. Yeah! <laughs> I love the sass that you can use. Aven, you must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. And know that we will... I'll see you again. This isn't goodbye, Aven. I promise. Oh, did she just... She just blew it up. Now you've done it, Aven. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I was... soft. I take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time, I'll do more than just beat you senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating you'll de deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your own screams. Ooh, I love Gary Hume. He's so good. Good job, Link. You did it. Even though you don't get to actually talk to her. A report master. I can no longer detect Zelda's aura. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dousing ability. Hallelujah! Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the Sealed Grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the Sealed Temple. Well, that seems like a good choice to go then, huh? They're very clear on what I need to do next. And that is to clean up the Temple of Time. Not with Sally. Ooh! Ants! 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 Huh. That almost looks like a musical staff, doesn't it? Not to mention there's a clear and obvious Triforce right there, as well as other smaller symbology for the Triforce here, here, and here. There's an hourglass here, and also the Mark of Din and the Mark of Nehru. There's a lot going on here. Ah, oh, this is cool. I wish I could see the Temple of Time at the time when it was meant to have been built. Hey, Gorko, do you have anything to say? You couldn't have stopped Girahim. What? You made it inside? You mean to say there's a secret passage I did not know about? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find that the way had been cleared. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon, so it looks like I'm going to be busy. I like to think that he's like, my best friend. Oh, hold on. Gotta clean up. Alright, now I'm ready to call it good for the day. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. That was fun. I like that dungeon. It's very unique, very creative. And that's kind of where this game shines. It's dungeons. I adore this game's dun dungeons. In my humble opinion, it has the best dungeons in the entire franchise. But I digress. You have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!